Industry Buzz with 3Zs.com. Now, bringing integrity back to media. Latonya M. Lane. Industry Buzz with 3Zs.com was started about three years ago. We first started off with the blog, which my understanding is you guys are doing blogs now, right? Okay. Um, we started off with the blog. I, I have a son, five-year-old, and every time I looked in the newspaper, I didn't see anything that would enhance his experience, you know, anything that would inspire him to read. You know, and anything that I wanted to actually introduce him to at five. Um, so I started something that's called Industry Buzz with 3Zs.com. And it does not matter where you started at, just as long as you started. So this is a great opportunity if you guys are doing a blog to see if you will actually want to be a part of journalism, a part of media. Um, ours is bringing integrity back to media. We highlight the positive things that's going on in our community and provoke change. When I started it, I didn't see anything that would provoke change. You know, um, so I was talking to my mentor, and it's good to have a good mentor, you know, that you can talk to, bounce off <laughs> of, and get their insight, especially if they are in the industry because they'll steer you in the right direction. Um, she said, well, Latonia, why don't you write about stuff that you like, you know? Um, and I said, well, okay, let's think about it. So that night, Industry Buzz with 3Zs.com was started. And what I did was, and everything, you do it with your very best intentions. So even though this is a class project, it can end up turning into residual income for you, you know. Um, and you'll start seeing the things that you like. It's very important that with everything that you write, you have a proper visual for people to look at. Because we are all maximized on what we see, what we touch, what we hear. Um, so with me... I started to be able to connect in all of those areas. So like I said, you have to have a visual. This is our radio show. We have a radio show that comes on every Tuesday and every Thursday. Um, so on Tuesdays, what we did was we took the blog and we made it into a platform where people can come in and talk. So let's say if I went to an event and there, this is the play that we have coming up on uh, this Friday. It's a hard knock life with just a, a lot of little girls and they talk to them about, you know, their self-esteem and things like that, you know, wearing weave at the age of five, those kind of things, you know, they start embracing those and they put it into a play form. So what I do is when I go out to these different events, I give them a flyer and I say, well, you know, here's our flyer, call in and let us know what you thought about the play. And then we also have them on our radio show. We blog about it, we talk about it, and then that makes the people that's online supporting you, that you're talking back forth to you, they become more interactive with what you're doing. Um, so when you're blogging, it's necessary for you to bring your personality into what you're doing. You know, um, what do you like to do? Travel. Travel. So what is your blog going to be about? Traveling on the road where I Okay. So when you start your blog, how are you going to start interacting with people? Um, see who's traveled where and um, see what their insights were about it. Okay, okay. What about you? Um, I think it's just doing stuff around Chicago, entertaining visitors when they come here. We need them to be places. Okay, so you like going around in the area that you're in and start interacting with the restaurants and different things like that. Okay. And the good thing about it is each one of you guys have put in your own personality. You see what I'm saying? You have your own personality. So when you're blogging, the thing how ours has grown, um, when we first started, we had over a thousand people when we first started. And what I started doing is, I do all of this for the most part by myself. We have some interns that come in and they help us along the way. But for the most part, everything that you see, my company did. Um, and what we did was, we take our passion, my passion, and the you know people that come aboard with us, their passion, and we intertwine it with other people and we find other people that are interested in the same things. So if you're going, you know, traveling, you know, and all of the things that you guys said, guess what? You can connect to businesses, and they will actually pay you to do what you just said you do, and you would like to blog about. And they, they are not cheap. They will actually pay you. Um, for just one click, you can get up to $100 just for one click on your blog. So it is definitely a great way to pay tuition, pay for those books, you know, get me some shoes. You know, all of those good things that you love to do and just save money, those things, is definitely in the blog. We took the blog and we made it into a social media network, okay? Um, now, in between, we also started our radio show, which you guys heard, and I told you coming along on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then we also started our TV show. So this is our TV show. 
and everything that you do you just have branding with it so maybe it may be a favorite color that you like my favorite colors are orange red you know yellow white and black so what I did was I created a logo that reflects that um, because in order for you to have a effective blog you have to network with people you know you have to talk to people if you want to take it even further you can get business cards for people as well so that they can go to your blog and check it out and encourage people to have a conversation with you maybe about traveling about food you know about fashion whatever it is how people to start uh, connecting with you when we first started out um, my thing was I saw no integrity really in media you know of course we have Oprah and we have other you know uh, people out here that are doing things to uh, bring integrity back to media my thing was is the things that I saw I didn't have any integrity in it you know false stories you know you bashing people I don't see nothing productive in bashing anyone so when we started our blog we started writing inspirational things that was going on around town we started uplifting our community one some cautions though about blogging is you want to make sure that you have integrity in blogging. You know, if, if it's something that's not true about what you're writing about, whatever it is, people are going to try you on it, they're going to test you on it. Uh, you may get some people that say something negative, you know, um, but always do things gracefully. Some people you don't even have to comment back to um, because as you start out, you know, sometimes you get negative comments, right? You know, just, just generally you get negative comments. But it's important for you to know what people like and what people don't like. So as you're blogging, keep all of those things in mind. Copywriting infringement, you know, if you're copying and pasting it off of someone else's site and you're putting it on your site as well, you can get in trouble for that. They do do a search. Um, so all of those things, those are cautionary things to look out for when you are blogging. Um, so what we did was we connected to people like Filmstar08.com, a lot of local businesses here like the African Music Festival. Um, we connected to, who said they like rock? We connected to some people in the music industry as well that's getting ready to do their stuff at the United Center or whatever they're going to be doing and we actually go out to them. And what they do is they send people right back here to Industry Bus to connect to us. So whatever you're doing, your blogging spot, whatever you have, make sure you have those interactive keys on there so that you can continue to share your information. One main thing on how we grew is by consistency. So don't start a blog and then stop it. Don't start it, you know, and then, you know, the project is done. Really do something that you want to do, you know, for a while because uh, once you start it, you know, once people start seeing it, then they're going to be expecting that information. They're going to be expecting quality information from you. Um, so what we did was, with our blogs, we took that same kind of information from our blogs. And when you go to our blog and you go to our website, you'll never pretty much see the same thing unless we're marketing someone. You won't see the same thing because we want people to get a different texture either way they go. So if you go to our blog, or if you go to the Inspirational Media Network, or if you listen to our radio shows or you see our TV shows, none of it is the same. The only thing that's the same is branding, you know. You always will hear me say, hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girlfriend, your buddy, your pal, Latonia, on Lang of Industry Bus. That's the same thing. I say that all the time, and I don't even know how to get out of it, but I do. Um, so with this... Uh, blog, uh, like I was saying, make sure that you have these functions where you can share it. Um, establish a Twitter account if you don't have it. Facebook. Y'all owe me some money for marketing, y'all. Um, uh, all of that, you make sure that you have it because it allows those people that are on your Twitter account or your Facebook account, anything like that, social networking, you start connecting to them. And you'll look up, and those same people that you're connecting to, they'll be like, you know what, I love what you're doing. You know, maybe, why don't we talk about investing in it? And that's how we got started with people starting to invest in us and advertising with us or wanting us to come out of town to come where they are and they will pay for our fees and everything, food, everything. Um, so we connected to AOL, Gmail, we connected to Hotmail, we're in UK as well, we're in Canada as well, and we connected to all of them so that we can help bloggers, we can help people that have an inspirational voice expand it any way they want it to. Can you talk about how you set up your radio show? Yes, I did the simplest thing, do things for free first. Do things for free first. Um, uh, I, didn't, I didn't jump into anything, you know. 
I wanted to see what the people wanted to hear and really I didn't care what they wanted to hear in a sense because it was all what my thoughts were when I started out and it still is it's what I like you know and it's other people out here that like what I like so I just connected to those people but we started off free first we started off with blog talk radio and we come on and we just find other people that's on our media network that want to talk to us you know y'all don't want to talk to me but they be wanting to talk to me <laughs> You know, and they want to talk about their vision. They want to talk about, you know, if they, you know, curl their hair a certain way or how they put on nail polish. I mean, what's crazy is people need to know this. Some people, like, they don't know how to ride a bike. Some people need to know that. You know, they need to know those steps on how to do something. Um, so they would come on to our radio show, and I found that the more that you give people a voice, the more interactive they will become with you. You know, if you see someone, you know, that you want to interview or you want to talk to about your own specific crafts, you guys can go to them and be like, I would love to highlight you on my blog. And then what you can do is you can share this blog with other people so they can see the feature. And that will continue to grow your blog because there will be other people that say, you know what, I'm going to support them just because they're supporting, you know, who I like. Or I support them just because they're doing something positive. And this is actually information that I need because I know I'm know i going to be reading that stress one. Woo, Jesus. I know I'm going to be reading that one. Learning how to balance. But, you know, so that's how our radio show began to flourish. And then we started getting people like, we have people on here from Channel 9. Uh, Miss Mary D is on here. We have people on here from NBC, from WGCI. Um, record labels are on here. Journalists are on here. And what they do is, there's other magazines that's on here as well. And what they do is, they also post up their magazines on our site. We have artists that's on here that are on tour right now. Uh, people from BET is on here, Essence. So it's a great network, you know, for people to start connecting to and expanding. Terrell Carla, I don't know if y'all know him from uh, Tyler Perry stuff. We have some of their people on here as well. So it's a lot of ways that you can expand your blogging. Is there anything else I need to say? That's pretty much it. I got like four minutes. Left. Okay. Did you guys have any questions for me as far as blogging or our network or anything else? Would you say it's more important to generate new content? as well as kind of regurgitate what's out there? I mean, is it the combination of the two that's led to some of your success? Um, I think it's definitely the combination of the two. Um, but what I do is I make ours more original. You know, my thoughts, you know, what I think about it. Um, you know, and then I intertwine that with what is currently going on. And then that, you know, becomes something that other people want to hear about. Like our TV show is beginning to really blossom more because we're going where people want to go. You know what I'm saying? Like Shaka Khan. Who would want to go see Shaka Khan? You know what I'm saying? Um, Tito Jackson. Who would, wanna, who would not want to do that? You know what I'm saying? So we will go those places where people want to go. And if there's no inspiration, we find inspiration. You know, and then that's how we began to grow because we started bringing out the best. Because I'm sorry, the tabloids and things like that. I stand there in the in the grocery store and I look at them, but I won't purchase them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's enough tearing down. So we started building people up, and anytime you build someone up, you know, throughout your blogging and everything that you guys doing, find something inspirational to do with it. You know, because the more inspiration that we have out here in media, the more that we can become an impact to our kids today. Any other questions? Well, I want to say thank you, you guys, for having me. Um, I really appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you guys blogging on IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com. Are you ready to promote your vision and reach your target audience? IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com is the platform for your vision to be heard. For more information on how to advertise or become a special guest on our radio show, go to IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com. Click on IB Race for more information. We're looking forward to expanding your vision. IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com.